I never really had any intention of writing a young Jane Tennyson. Um, to be truthful, I'd only ever worked with the real detective chief inspector from Scotland Yard, who was already in her 40s. So to establish the role that Helen Mirren took on was my focus on the real McCoy. And she just fed me all the information. She was the one that took me to the incident rooms, the laboratories, the forensic departments, the dreadful time at the autopsy. She wanted me to get it right. And so Prime Suspect evolved from this wonderful lady, DCI Jackie Moulton. So when I was at a book event in Sheffield, um, we had one row left empty and they came to me and they said, oh, that's for sight impaired people. They will be coming in. You know, you can't say blind now, but a whole row, about eight seats, reserved, reserved. And just before we were to start off the event, they came in with their dogs. They had an Alsatian, they had a um, very odd Spaniel, they had what looked like a really demented Jack Russell, but the guide dogs were all brought in and all sat patiently in front of their owners. And I began the event. And um, talking away, the first down was the Alsatian. And it just literally collapsed <laughs> very loudly. Then the Spaniel flipped over on its back with its legs up in the air. And that had the most amazing snore as one by one of these dogs collapsed. It was incredibly funny. But one of the people that was there with the sight impaired in the Q&A session after said, where did Jane Tennyson come from? And it was quite extraordinary because I honestly didn't know. Um, and it sort of set a seed in my head. Where did she come from? Because she had to have started very young. And that really and truly began the writing of the young Jane Tennyson.